Because of we be with the easiness for a long, long time, we think to be easy is boring. And people start to make it more complicated, make it harder. They feel good that they can do, make it more complicated because other people cannot understand it. And then people feel proud of it because they can make it harder, difficult, more difficult, more complicated. And later on, we can monopolize that technique, that skill that we can make it very easy. We, we, we can make it very hard. And then when we can monopolize it, we pattern it or we uh, own it legally, it creates more benefit for people. That's why people start to compete to do something harder, more complicated, and then the whole world just moving to the same direction. We love to do things very complicated, so we can monopolize it. We can own it. We can own that skill. And then when we own it, we can get more benefit, get more money, more fame, more power. That's, that's a lot of return that we will get. And then Everybody just exciting with something hard and complicated. It become normal. It become normal thing to make it harder and to make it more complicated. Until many years later, people start to think life have to be like this. It have to be very hard, have to be complicated like this. Until now. Many people don't believe that we cannot go back to make things easy anymore. It's impossible. It's impossible to grow food very fast, very easy like that. It's impossible to build a house that easy. It's impossible to do healing for yourself. Because we create our system, the whole system, to make it more complicated. In the past, when we want to build a house, a young man can learn how to nail the nail, how to use saw to cut the wood, and then not very really long they can learn how to build houses easily. But when we try to make it more complicated, we cannot build a house anymore. We need to get architect to design our house. We need to get engineer to help build our house. We need to have special skill from mason or carpenter to make our house. So everything, it will be more complicated, more complicated. And then building your own house is not safe anymore. It's not meet the standard. It's, they consider it's not safe. So even food, we cannot cook food easily. We cannot eat things easily because we feel like it's not complicated enough. We don't feel secure. We don't feel safe. There are many apple trees on the street, everywhere in the forest. Even behind their house, very beautiful apple, apple trees, a lot of fruit, very nice. But most of people don't know how to eat them because they feel like it's not safe. They need to bring that apple to clean, to do farm, apple farm, ap apple plantation in the chemical way. And then they process them and then put them in the supermarket. One, whenever we see them in supermarket, we feel safe. So we can see that it's quite complicated when we want to have an apple. The long is we have to follow the long way, the long process to get the apple to eat. Even it's not safe, but we feel secure, we feel it's safe. So the, it's funny to see many people who have fruit trees in the backyard, but they don't eat them because they feel like uh, there's some worm in there, it's not safe, it's not clean, so it's better to buy from the market. 
So this is the way we create our life to make it more complicated. And when we use the word standard or safety as a tool to make it more complicated, you need to meet this standard so you can use it. If you cannot meet this standard, you cannot use it. You cannot build your own house if you did not get approved by architect or engineer. So this is the way we develop. And anybody who want to do something different, they will consider black chip or strange people, or people who are not normal, crazy people. So when we start to create this kind of standard, it make everything in the world now. We cannot do anything. We need to get permit for everything because we think that permit is something to protect us. And then nobody learned to do anything different from the decoration or the frame that they make the frame for us. You need to be in this box only. If you go out of this box, you consider crazy or violate the rules. You cannot do that. So everybody will force to think the same way to do the same thing. That is no development, no learning process to make our life easy. We close the gate to go to the easy way. We have no chance to develop our life to the easiest way anymore now. Everything, even medical, if we get sick, it's not easy to use herbal medicine, to use local wisdom, local technique to treat ourselves, to take care of ourselves. You need to go to conventional medicine only. So, but conventional medicine always costs more and more expensive and it's harder and it's more complicated. Nobody can do it. Only that company can do it. Only that company can own it. This is the way we make it harder and harder and harder. So everything in our life now, we need to get the standard. And then when we use the standard system, it decreases our skill, decreases our ability to develop ourselves, to be able to do things by ourselves. It blocks ourselves to develop something to make it easier and easier and easier. We cannot do that anymore. We need to make it more complicated, more regulation. You need to follow this step only and then you can use it. This is the development that leads us to disaster, to collapsing. Everything will be too hard, too complicated, too expensive. Nobody knows how to do it. Only a few amount of people can do it. This is the dead end in our life. So if we think about to develop ourselves to be easier and easier, to make ourselves to have better life, easier life, we need to prepare our mind to be ready to face a lot of people around us will attack us. We need to be brave, we need to be strong to do something different from normal people. If not, we cannot find anything easy. Now, to make it easy is a lot harder than to make it hard or complicated. The technique, the system is not hard, but the thinking is very hard. It's very hard to change our mind to think about the easiest way. It's very hard because many people don't accept that. They think we are against the regulation. We have no standard. We cannot do it. Many people will blame us. For example, when I start to go back home in the first time, I saw that everybody planting rice, transplant rice, and bend down planting rice for months and months. Until when they're getting old, they have a back 
bent down. They cannot walk straight anymore. A lot, most of all women in my village, all of them have to walk bent down with the stick. They cannot stand straight anymore because they're bent to do rice planting all their life. But when I went back home, I feel like, why we need to do planting, rice planting like that? It's so hard, take too long. Why we don't just sow the rice and plow, cover it and let it grow? People think I'm crazy. They said, our ancestors have been doing like this for a long time. You need to follow them. If you don't follow them, you will not get rice to eat. So when I start to do it, they think I'm crazy. The whole village think I'm crazy. But I know what I'm doing. I observe the grass in my rice field. Which one? They will die when the water flooded. Which one? They can survive in the water. I dug all the grass that they can survive in the water. I dug all them out and I sow the rice in the grass. And then when the rice come up, it come up with the grass. People laugh at me crazily. Look at him, he's so crazy. He did not planting his rice. Look at his farm, the only grass. But I can see my rice so tiny, stick up in the middle of the grass. But not many weeks later, when have more rain, water flood in the rice field, most of the grass wilted and die. But my rice starts to stick up higher. And then they said, look at him. His rice is so far apart. It's like he play. He did not do rice planting rice seriously, but I don't care. I just let them uh, critique, criticize me. But not really long, my rice spread out, many rice spread out in one tree, one plant. More than 30, some of them more than 50, they grow and in it, my rice will fill up full of rice. And then when I harvest the rice, I get more yield than them. After that, a few years later, nobody tans bending, bend down, transplanted rice as before anymore. They sold the rice like me, the whole village. So this is a big chain to make it easy. We need to face a lot of obstacles on the way. The first obstacle is people around us. And then the second obstacle is the law, the regulation. If you want to build your house, you need to get permit. Even you know very well, but you need to get permit from some people they call architects who never build houses, who just desire a house. So this is what happened. I think we can go back to make our life easy. We still have a chance. But we need to be brave enough. Don't let fear control us. Whenever we have belief, try it, do it. And then we need to do it continue, continuously. Don't stop easily. And then observe and experiment, observe and experiment, observe and experiment and keep doing it. Not really long we will find the solution. We will find the easiness in everything. Because everything always has solution. Everything always has easiness. But do we have enough patience? Do we have enough uh, strong mind to keep experiment, observe and experiment, observe and experiment? If we keep doing this, I think we can develop ourselves to the way that make our life easier and easier and easier. If not, we need to follow the mainstream that make everything very hard, very complicated, very expensive. Until now, we can see people all over the world, many people, most of people don't believe that they can build their own house. Many people, they don't believe that they can survive if they don't work hard, don't have money. They don't know 
what they can eat. They don't know how can they get food. Even surround us full of food. This is the way we develop ourselves to make it more complicated, to make it harder and harder and harder. So I think we are developing our culture, our society, our life into the dead end. Imagine today when you get sick, how much money you need to pay. How many people who can survive to pay for the cost of medical? So high. And if you want to have a house, it, the cost is so high. And then you cannot build it your, your own. I feel like we need to develop in another direction. We need to have more choice in our life. So we need to fight now. Fight to get right to be able to develop our life to make it easy. If we don't try, if we don't fight, we will surrender. And that is suffering. No, never end suffering until we die. We cannot enjoy anything anymore. Life is fun. We need to make it fun and enjoy it before we die. That is the point of living on this earth.